Hi guys, welcome back to A Little About LV. Today I'm finally doing another makeup tutorial, which I'm very excited about because I haven't done one in a while. That is a lot of because how everything is going right now. I haven't really been going out anywhere, so I've been putting on the bare minimum of makeup to just go to work. However, I've gotten a lot of feedback from you guys lately saying that you really, really want another makeup tutorial and you really enjoy them. And I'm so glad because of course makeup is my absolute passion, my favorite thing that I do here on my YouTube channel, what started it all. So super excited to jump into that today. Today we are going to be doing an easy summer makeup tutorial. That is what my followers voted for on Instagram. So I know a lot of you are wanting to see that. Today I'm going to keep it as simple as possible. Something that just makes your skin super flawless and luminous and just a very easy tutorial for summer when you don't want to go full glam, but you want to look very put together, very flawless. So that is what we're going to be doing today. And also basically, I have nothing better to do today than this makeup tutorial. I'm not going anywhere, so we're just gonna, you know, have some get ready with me time today. But all that being said, I have everything ready for you. We're gonna jump right in. All right, so for this tutorial, I am not gonna be talking about all the brands that much. Of course, I am gonna let you know what I'm using, but this is not gonna be like specifically drugstore or high end. It's just some of my favorite things that I'm using right now. I also wanna say that if you have the bare essentials of makeup products, you're gonna be able to do this super simple tutorial because I don't even have an eyeshadow palette in this tutorial and you're gonna see why. But at the end, I am going to show you guys some of my favorite recommendations for summer palettes because I know I get requests for recommendations all the time. So I am gonna show you that. But again, today is about super simple, so that's what we're gonna do. I wanna start out by telling you what my moisturizer is because I've had a lot of people ask me what moisturizer I'm using before I start putting on my primer and all of my makeup. So I am gonna tell you today that I have on this different um, oil control moisturizer with SPF and that's because after this, I'm probably just gonna go lay out if the sun will hold up. So I wanted to make sure that my moisturizer had SPF in it and this different um, also for acne control is the best one. I wear this at the beach just as a sunscreen as well because it never ever breaks me out. So that is what I have on today. I'm gonna start out now with primer. This is the No Pore Blum Prime Essence by Touch and Soul and I absolutely love this brand. I know y'all have seen this on my channel before. The reason that I want to go in with this is because we are going to be using a very matte foundation today just because one I'm very oily and in the summer um, it's just important for me to make sure that I stay very matte. However, you want to be glowy in the summer and so I like to use a more luminous primer to start out with. So that is why I'm using this. Again, it's kind of like a liquid. So if you do have very dry skin, you're gonna love this as well. This video is gonna be for dry and oily skin. All right, and after that, I wanna go in with a very long lasting foundation that's um, a must for summer, I think for everybody, especially when we're not gonna go into the full like setting of everything. So I actually have two recommendations. What I'm gonna go in with today is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. Absolutely love this foundation. It lasts all day long, even with my super oily skin. I also like to recommend as a drugstore alternative, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, which I know y'all have seen me use a million times. Um, so definitely go back to one of my other videos and you can see that. But today I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty and I'm using my Eco Tools Complexion Buffer Brush as always. So one trick that I'm going to tell you about today that I like to do for easy summer makeup is I am not going to use a sponge after this to put on my concealer. We are going to do all of it with the same brush because we're not really in a hurry, but we want to do the easiest routine as possible. And make sure that you are getting it over your eyelids, um, which I don't always do that super well, but we're actually not going to set our eyelids in the same way today. So make sure you're getting that foundation over your eyelids this time. So I hope all of you guys are surviving this quarantine season, this very strange season right now. I know it's been really difficult for me as someone who is very social and likes to go out, not to demean everything that's going on right now, obviously, but I mean, it's hard. It's hard to stay in. It's hard to not see your friends. So hope everybody is staying well. 
And so while we're just putting on our makeup and chatting, I also want to say that y'all know that I love makeup. The reason that I haven't done too many tutorials right now is just because one, again, I haven't been putting on makeup that much. And two, I've had so many projects going on just to keep myself busy basically because I'm such a social person and I just never stop and right now I feel like I'm running out of things to do so I have been doing a lot of projects and stuff around the house some I hope to be filming for you guys so I've just had so much going on that I just haven't had time to do a tutorial honestly all right so now that we've got our face super matte I want to go in with a concealer and today I'm going in with the elf 16 hour camo concealer this is a drugstore find I love this stuff so what I'm actually going to do again is not use a sponge or take out any other brushes. I'm going to use the exact same brush that I just used. And we are also going to use this as our eyeshadow primer to keep it on all day. And I actually wore this exact same look to work yesterday and it lasted all day and all night. We're going to blend that right out under the eye and make sure that we're blending it out over the eyelid as well to set the eye area. So this look is tried and true. This is a look that I've been using a lot lately just to be super simple and very summery. And as you can tell, that is lightening that area. That's what you want, just to look very bright under the eyes. And I'm just gonna do a little touch here and there just to lighten those areas as well. All right, so now what we are going to do is set our face with just your favorite powder. Again, no specific products. Today, I'm going to go in with the Physician's Formula Super CC powder. And I actually am going to use this again because it has SPF 30 in it. And I want that for today specifically for me. But you can use your favorite powder. It doesn't have to be anything specific. I first do want to go in with like a more... Um, tapered harder brush here and this is the Alamar Cosmetics brightening brush whatever works for you I'm actually going to press this one in a little bit and press it under the eye area because you don't want that area with all the concealer to crease you really do want to set that area and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do over the rest of the face but for under the eyes I really do like to press the powder in it's just going to help it stay longer throughout the day so it's something that I like to test to know that I have really set um, my under eyes well is I like to use my pinky and make sure that it's matte underneath you don't want it to be sticky if it's still kind of tacky like your concealer then you definitely need to put on just a little bit more powder don't be cakey with it but it definitely just means that it needs to be set a little better to last all day so now we're just going to take a super fluffy brush like this and just go all over the face with the powder to set the concealer and the foundation and this is just important even now doing like a simple makeup tutorial because it is summertime and it's hot and you can get sweaty outside just very important that you set the whole face so we're still going to say it's super easy and summery all right so now that the face is set you're going to go in with your favorite bronzer i think i'm going to use my physician's formula butter bronzer today i've used this a lot it smells like heaven so like coconut. Um, another alternative that I have been loving for summertime that I just wanted to show you is this e.l.f. bronzer palette. I think this was like six or eight dollars and it has obviously four different shades of bronzer there and I don't know if you can tell but some of them have like a little bit of a sparkle in them so it's just like whatever you're feeling at the time. Um, but I think I'm going to go in with my butter bronzer today, my tried and true. This is what I've been using the most, obviously. And I'm just going to go in with another Alamar Cosmetics uh, brush. This is called the Complexion Brush, but definitely looks like a bronzing brush to me because it's tapered and that's what I like to use. So, And of course, we are going to do what we normally do with bronze and place it right there under the cheekbone. And as you can see, that is making a depth in the face there and bronzing it up. And a little bit on the forehead and right under the jawbone. And of course, you know, I have to do just a little bit on the tip of the brush down each side of my nose. This is not required for this look, but it is if you have a nose like mine. 
I love the way this stuff smells. I love to use this all summer long. It just makes me feel so beachy. I am actually leaving for the beach in 11 days. I'm not sure when this video is coming out, but from the time I filmed it, it's 11 days from now. I'm gonna try to film a little travel vlog for you guys. Again, don't really know how it's gonna turn out. I'm pretty boring when it's at the beach. Like, do you wanna watch me every single day just kinda like lay on the beach and eat an entire bag of Doritos by myself? I don't know. Anyways, now that we are bronzed up and looking very summery, I am gonna go in with just my favorite blush. You pick your favorite blush. It can be high-end, it can be drugstore. Doesn't matter, all you need is a blush, a bronzer, and a highlighter for this look. So I just grabbed my favorite pinky tone because that's what I wanted to go with. This is Kylie's Winter Kissed blush and I just love the pink tone to it. That's the only reason why I chose it. Don't have to have anything this expensive, obviously. I'm gonna go in with my little tapered in fluffy blush brush and blush up the cheeks. Especially in the summertime, I like to add just a little bit of blush right up here and on the bridge of the nose just to kind of bring in that pink all over the face a little bit. Nothing crazy. Don't be putting like a streak of pink up here. Don't get crazy with it, okay? And so lastly for the face, we are going to highlight and I chose the absolute cheapest highlighter that I have. If you watched my um, drugstore, Walmart, and TJ Maxx makeup haul, this is the in-studio highlighter that I got and have used almost every single day for about 50 cents. Live for this. I don't even know if they still have it at Walmart, but if you see the little individual highlighters from in studio, this one is called Champagne Glow. Buy every single color because it was it's worth way more than 50 cents. I'm not even kidding. So I'm going in with this little bitty tapered highlighting brush. This one is specifically from Eco Tools and it's the controlled setting brush, but she uses it as a highlighter. And we're just gonna go right over the top of the cheekbones there. If you can see that glowing. And this is just really gonna give you that sun-kissed glow going with the bronze there underneath. I cannot believe this is 50 cents. I cannot believe it. All right, and then I put just a little bit right here on the forehead where the light would catch. And then of course, straight down the nose. So especially if you have very dry skin and you're somehow watching this video, um, the highlighter is really going to make you look more glowy from the dull skin tone. If you have very oily skin like me, we've already concealed the oil. Now we're going back in and making ourselves look luminous. Okay, so for this look, we're gonna skip the brows. You definitely don't have to. Everybody knows that my favorite recommendation for eyebrows is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. So if you want to do your brows, I highly recommend this one. It's only $9.99, but I have been skipping my brows a lot in the summer, even though obviously I have a little bit of a thinness here in the brows. I just kind of let it go in the summertime. And this is supposed to be an easy makeup look, so we're not even gonna bother with that. What I wanna focus on now is the eyes. Again, I said I'm not even using an eyeshadow palette in this tutorial, because I wanna show you what to do if you just have the bare minimum of essentials. Anything that you've already used in this tutorial so far, you're gonna use on your eyes. So that being said, I'm gonna go back in with the bronzer that I used, and I'm gonna take a little tapered end brush, this one is specifically the Morphe M330 brush, and I'm going to use this as our transition shade on the eyelid. So I'm just gonna apply it right here, and we are gonna rock that back and forth and create a little bit of depth on the eye. We're going to concentrate it right here in the corner and the crease and then bring it right around very softly all the way to the inner corner. And you know, normally I would recommend in videos like this, I love to recommend palettes that have blush, bronzer, and highlight already in the palette. I know you've seen me use several of those like in my travel videos or in my super easy like 15 minute tutorials, but I know a lot of people don't want to go out and buy a palette just to get these looks. So that's why I wanted to show you today. If you have a lot of individual products, you can still get this look. You don't have to go out and buy 
a palette, whether it's high end or drugstore that has everything in it together, you can definitely get this from everything that you already have. So now that we have that transition shade going there and we have deepened up the eyes in the crease, I'm gonna go in with my blush and I just wanna do a little bit of a pinkness to the eye to match the rosiness of our cheeks. And I like to do this because it just makes everything look more put together and more natural. It just looks like you have this rosiness to your face and everything is very cohesive. Like the colors that you have on your eye match the colors that are on your face. And it just kind of looks like you woke up like this, except perfect instead. So now I'm going in with a super small, like wet and wild kind of flatter brush. And we are just gonna pack some of this pink shade onto our lid, not all the way to the corner. And as you can see, there's just like this very subtle pinkness here in the center now. And it's just so summery to have like just this little pop of very pastel pink in the middle of your eye. Okay, so now that you've packed on that very light pink shade right there, we are gonna go in with the same highlighter that you used on your cheeks and fill in the rest of the eye to the corner and right on the inner corner. So for this, I'm gonna go in with a very small flat tipped brush and I'm just going to take a little bit of the highlight and put it right here on the inner corner. I don't even wet the brush. If you are having a problem with fallout, depending on what highlighter you have, maybe just wet the brush a little bit or spray it with some Fix Plus and then dip it in and that will help it not to fall like down onto your cheekbones. And you just wanna blend that shiny shimmery color into the pink just a little bit, not all the way across of course. Right, and then I always wanna put just a little bit right here on the inner corner to create a little bit of a shine there. And then I always put a little bit right here under the brow bone. I always like to go and clean up the edges just a little bit with the original brush that we used with the bronzer. And then I'm gonna take just a tad of the bronzer on this same brush again and very lightly put that on the under part of the lower lid. And this just kind of connects it so it's a little bit more cohesive on the outside of your eye. It's not just like your eyeshadow stops right there at the side. How intense is this highlighter? Okay, and that is it for the eye look. You are done, it matches the rest of your face. Now we're gonna go in and finish it off. All right guys, so we are already almost done. I forgot my eyeliner downstairs, so I had to go get it. But of course I got my e.l.f. liquid liner. You can always use a pencil liner as well. This part is gonna be left up to you. I know some of my viewers may not even do eyeliner. That's totally fine. You can skip straight to mascara. I, however, love eyeliner. I like the way it looks. I like the way it kind of opens up my eyes because I feel like my eyes are a little beady without it. But that is totally up to you. I'm gonna go in with my liquid liner and just line the very top of my eyes. Nothing too crazy. A lot of times I do still like to do my little cat eye winged eyeliner, but not today. All right, so I have lined just the top of my eyes there. And now I'm gonna go in my favorite mascara. Of course, for me, my favorite mascara is Benefit Cosmetics Bad Gal Bang. Absolute favorite. If you've watched any of my makeup videos ever, you know that. So we're going to go in with this and give ourselves a little mascara. And even though I have not been doing a lot of makeup tutorials, I hope you guys have been really enjoying my other videos. I'm super excited about my Shein purchases if you haven't watched that video already. Um, I literally loved that site. I actually already placed another order. Um, if you've watched it, you know that the romper was like my absolute favorite thing that I got. So I placed another order for like four rompers, a dress, and another bathing suit top. So I'm really hoping that comes in before I leave for my trip. So let's all send good vibes my way. 
um, the last time it shipped really, really fast. I will say I was going to tell you guys about my experience with the returns and I sent them back my return the next day after I applied for it and they sent me the label and they got it like that was a Friday and they got it on a Monday and that's been like a week at least and that they have received my package and they're still saying that they're processing my return so I still haven't gotten my money back from that. So I will continue to update you guys probably in the description on that video of how that's going for me. But currently, I'm really not sure when I'm going to get my money back. But they did receive my items and I already placed another order. So, all right, guys. So the eyes and face are done. What I want to do now is go in with a little lippy. This is a wet and wild gloss. I love to use gloss when I'm doing like a very glowy look like this. I feel like it just flows so well and I love glosses in the summer. So this is actually from their Halloween collection. If you watched my Halloween makeup tutorial, um, this is the Jack-o-lantern's blood and it's honestly just such a beautiful color and it goes perfectly with this look. I know I told y'all in that video I was going to be wearing this all the time and it is, that was October and it's currently April, almost May and I'm still wearing this. Like if they don't come back out with this next year, I'm in trouble. Okay guys, so that is it for the look. I'm going to set it with my A Heart Revolution fixing spray. This is in the vanilla and coconut. As you can see, it's almost gone. I use this in a lot of videos. I just love this, especially in the summertime because of the smell, but it actually does work all day. So it's very cheap and it's one of my absolute favorite setting sprays. Okay guys, so we are set and done and flawless. How easy was this makeup tutorial? Um, all you need really is your favorite luminous primer, your best stay all day foundation. You don't even need any brushes and sponges. You can pick a sponge to put on your foundation and concealer or the brush, you just need one. Your favorite bronzer, blush, and highlighter, and we use that for the eyes. I mean, like how cute is this pop of pink to match the cheeks? Perfect, easy summer look. I always get compliments when I go out with my makeup this way. I promise you will too. But before I go, I promised I would show you my favorite summer palette. And here are three actually. Two of them are not drugstore, so we'll start with those. This is the Tarte Beautiful palette. It's the um, circular ones that have the little different prints on the front. This one has the palm tree print. And I love this one because it's so, so neutral. It's perfect for summer. It has the little pop of pink here. It has the little tan tones. It has the shimmers and it also has like almost a setting color here. So if you wanted to buy a really simple palette that could get the same look as what we're doing right now, this is a perfect palette. I use this one all the time. You can even take it a little bit deeper with like the dark brown here. Highly, highly recommend this palette if you can find it anywhere. A lot of times they have sales on it like Ulta. Love this palette. Another one that I got in a BoxyCharm a long time ago was the Pure Festival palette. This is one of the ones that if you follow me on Instagram, I did like the little sunset eye look. I did it with this. A beautiful, beautiful palette when you open it up. This is a palette for everybody. If you're super neutral, there's so many neutrals in here. You can get this same eye look with this as well. Just don't go in too heavy with that pink because it's very pigmented. However, if you do like to experiment with makeup, if you do like to experiment with a couple pops of color, these are beautiful. It also has some glitters in here. It smells like vanilla. I absolutely love this palette as well. Super fantastic for summer. And last but not least, this is a drugstore brand. This is BH Cosmetics. Y'all know I love BH Cosmetics. This is the Hanging in Hawaii palette. Not only is it the cutest ever packaging wise, it has the most phenomenal colors in it. I cannot get enough of this palette. I use it all the time. Again, you can create the same look that I did with this. It has the super highlighting shades. It has the pinks. It has the little darker, like bronzing tones. It has everything. If you're super neutral, you feel like a couple pops of colors, you could get another little sunset vibe with this. I mean, absolutely perfect palette. I think this one was only 
12, $16, something like that. So definitely a drugstore palette. So those are my three recommendations for summer palettes. And that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope you are loving this look. So many of you wanted me to do this look. You could definitely add eyelashes to glam it up a little bit. You could add a pop of color for the lips. There's so, so much you can do with it. But at the end of the day, if you want to throw on makeup super, super quickly and have a very, very beautiful, flawless look, this is the way to do it. It took me absolutely no time at all very simple very few products used very few brushes used you don't have to be a makeup artist to get this look so I'm very excited for you to try it out let me know if you do leave any questions you have for me down in the description box don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video thanks again so much for watching a little about LV